Don't be fooled. Bitcoin will make a lot of people very, very rich. Welcome back, guys. It's Crypto Rocco from Rockstar Trading Channel. And guys, if you just watch one of my videos, make sure you watch this. I make hundreds of videos on technical analysis. I've been making videos since 2017. But if you just watch one video, make sure you watch this video. This video is not going to be about technical analysis. I'm buying here for a 10% profit or which altcoin is going to pump next 100% and you can check my other videos for that this video is going to be more important than that i'll be sharing with you fundamentally why i love bitcoin and why i like the features of bitcoin decentralization a uh, blockchain why i like them in plain english and explain to you my reasoning for buying bitcoin and and again this is not financial advice bitcoin could go to zero but i'm heavily invested in bitcoin this is not financial advice this is just advice from me and again make sure you don't you know sell your house and all the uh, don't you know invest money that you can't afford to lose this is very risky but for me it's more risky to be holding your dollar or holding your pound or whatever currency you have so if you just visualize the purchasing power of the dollar over the last century and most currencies are linked to dollar so again the dollar if you're whether wherever you are it's probably similar to you and you can see the purchasing power of dollar how it's gone down and what's going on this especially this year there's been more printing of money than than ever before a hundred dollars in 19 13 would only be worth 3.87 today and i think it's a lot lot less now than uh than three dollars and you can see the purchasing power how that's been going down and that's due to inflation that's due to printing money so if you just hold your money do you think that's a good investment again i'm just sharing with you my thoughts I shared this video, a similar video in our group. I talked about Bitcoin trading and investing strategy. You can see Bitcoin price was just at mere $8,000. And I made a video when Bitcoin price was a lot lower as well. So again, I don't know whether Bitcoin's going to drop now. I think Bitcoin's broken now. It could start a new cycle. I'll touch on the technical analysis at the end. But whether the price goes up or down, I think long time frame, uh, this is a uh, this is a market you want to be exposed to this is a market you want to be interested in lots of uh, whales and institutional buying is coming in so wall street's getting involved and i think bitcoin price could go a lot higher so this is one of the main points i want to make the inflation and if we study inflation throughout history uh, the holding dollar pound whatever currency you have euro it's not really a great investment and also guys not many currencies have succeeded overall if you look at history of of currencies if you look at the german werner i believe that failed and obviously we know the history with zimbabwean dollar uh, the currencies don't you they're controlled by the fed they're they're printed they're not you know they're not backed by gold as it was so uh, that's one of the main reasons why i'm so invested in bitcoin you can't just print more bitcoin and again there are some risks to bitcoin and i can touch on that in the future potential uh, in the quantum computing i can touch on that in the future but if for me bitcoin is is future money why the dollar is worth so much less than it used to be and again this is another visual representation of what how the uh, dollar prices have go up and the main reason that they give is an increase in the amount of money being printed and if money c keeps being printed like it has been the dollar value is going to go up and it's not just bitcoin you know gold has had a huge breakout investing gold uh, investing i mean the stock market you think that what's going on with the economy if stock market is meant to be a visual representation of the economy the stock market won't be up like this see how how far stock market is up this year even though everything that's gone on this year and if you look at gold as well gold has been one of my biggest trades uh, since it broke out of there i posted this trade live and you know gold had one of the biggest multi-year breakouts and it's up 50 percent and i think gold can go a lot lot higher than that so let's stay on topic and let me go through the fundamental reasons why so bitcoin rail cluster show institutional fomo is behind bitcoin rally so guys if you uh, look at the bitcoin uh, chart again uh so whether you bought Bitcoin at 1950 or you bought it at 13000 it didn't really matter. And I'm a trader. I get in and get out. But there are Bitcoin that I just hold. And if Bitcoin dumps to zero, I'll take a massive loss. And, and that's I mean, I'm invested heavily. I was you know invested a lot heavier back in 2017. I was maybe lucky to get in there. I'm a bit more diversified now with uh, property and gold. But, you know, 
Bitcoin is breaking out into new highs, and you don't have to get the perfect entry uh, back in here. An example that I give: there are traders that say they win all their trades. For me, guys, this four thousand breakout, I miss this trade, and I don't want to, you know, sleep or you know my exchange go down, and I, I don't want to miss one trade and you know miss a potential huge rally. So again, I'll go back to this video. This is one of the videos that I watched, and I wish I bought Bitcoin below thousand dollars, and I knew about Bitcoin when it was a lot less than a thousand dollars. I got involved early twenty seventeen. For just over one thousand dollar, I paid for the first Bitcoin that I bought. But you know, I wish I had bought Bitcoin then. And you know, are we going to? You're gonna regret watching this video. Like I said in the educational group, I made this video. Uh, I just said, look, buy some Bitcoin. We could have bought Bitcoin less than four thousand dollars even just this year, and look at where it is now. And I would love to get in a pullback. I'll share that at the end of the video. But you know, I want. I really want to share. I'm really passionate about Bitcoin and blockchain. And I know I sometimes talk bad about some cryptocurrencies. And I'm not saying bad about cryptocurrency. I'm just talking about the charts. If something rallies, you know, if Bitcoin now rallies to fifty thousand, I'm not going to be looking to buy a lot of Bitcoin. Then I'll still be trading it. But we don't know when we're going to get a pullback. But long time frame. Another point to make is whoever whoever in the history of Bitcoin have ever bought any Bitcoin. Bitcoin, they're going to be in profit. Let me just repeat that again. Whether you bought your Bitcoin in 2012, whether you bought your Bitcoin in 2017, you are in profit. Bitcoin price has never been this high. So whenever you have, wherever you have would have bought Bitcoin in the history of Bitcoin, unless it just dumps to zero now, you would be in profit. So, you know, buy $100, buy $1,000, whatever you can afford. Again, I'm just sharing with you my thoughts and what I'm personally trading. If you want to learn how exactly how I trade, I'll leave the links below for you to check out. You can get access to our trading strategies. Uh, there's a special offer for you to get started. There's a trading group and I'll share with you the exact trade I took in Bitcoin because I know most people are traders. I'll share with you the exact trade I posted the 16th of December. So I want to get a bit more technical now. So this might not make as much sense to you. So uh, what? Uh, another thing, another reason for this rally could be that a lot of Bitcoin is being taken away from exchanges. And exchanges is where you can short Bitcoin and sell Bitcoin. If people are taking their Bitcoin, again, this is just my hypothesis. Please comment below what you think about this. So my thoughts is that if Bitcoin has been taken away from exchanges, does that mean that people are going to sell that Bitcoin? In my opinion, when people take Bitcoin off exchanges and that is another really good point I'd like to make if you're hodling Bitcoin in an exchange you don't really own that Bitcoin unless you have the key and you own it in cold storage then that is your Bitcoin and if you hold any decent amount of Bitcoin I'd highly recommend to store it in a wallet or in a cold storage and you can look into that in my previous videos or Google it to, to learn more so if people are taking money off uh, exchanges I think Bitcoin then people are not going to sell that Bitcoin and that means uh, the selling pressure will be less and if you just think of I try to explain in very simple terms if you think about buying and selling if the demand and supply the price goes up because there's demand the price goes down when there's less demand when demand is more than supply price goes up when supply is more than demand price goes down um, so if you think about the people taking their bitcoin away from exchanges in my opinion that means the supply is reducing and if supply reduces and the de demand goes higher you'd think bitcoin could have a potential very sharp move up in a liquidity crisis as well and again i'm don't want to get too technical or short uh, if people if there's less demand for less bitcoin on exchanges and people are fighting over a lesser amount of bitcoin there could be a liquidity uh, driven bull run as well so that is another reason why i'm so bullish on bitcoin so those are the thoughts i wanted to make this video you know less than 10 minutes to get share with you my thoughts and that is one of the re few reasons uh, i'm so bullish on bitcoin and i'm heavily invested in bitcoin so if you if i share with you how i traded it so this is in the group i posted and and you can check my youtube videos as well i've got hundreds of youtube videos explaining you can check them out and to check out our group as well this is just for appreciation for new traders but if you want to get access to the group this is how you can access it so this is what i posted on the on the morning of 16th you can check the date when i posted it on the chart it hadn't broken out and i was looking to buy above 20k this is where my stop was and i said once it breaks out there could be huge volatility and the price could move up from a trading point of view i was scrambling to get into exchanges uh, as you guys know uh, binance and coinbase were having issues when it broke out previously in 2017 when we had those moves those exchanges suffered so i took some profit around 21 22000 and i'm still long so if 
if you're thinking about investing again i touch on my if you want my investing strategy again you get access to all of these courses uh, in the unit section of the group if you're interested but if you're uh, talking about the trading and investing um uh, buy some now guys hundred dollars fifty dollars buy some now you might never get the pullback so that would be the first thing from a trading point of view guys this is the chart that i'm looking at in a shorter time frame on the hourly it's finally getting some consolidation and i'm going to go into my uh, chart analysis page It's getting some consolidation finally. Uh, if it breaks this, this is the first hourly trend change, so that might be, mean a bigger pullback. Uh, if it breaks out above 2360, I'm going to look to buy again on a pullback using my trading strategy. Make sure you have a trading strategy. Don't try to you know trade it on leverage and lose all your Bitcoin. Please just hold some or learn to trade and trade it without leverage. So another thing that I'm looking for now is guys, if Bitcoin breaks below this, guys, there could be a bit of a pullback, and I'd love to buy Bitcoin in the low 20k. Um, uh, on the daily moving average pullback and as long as the weekly uh, it's above the weekly moving average I'm going to be looking to buy pullbacks there's going to be a 20-30% pullback you'd think that it will it's not giving a pullback now that's why I just said look to buy some you don't need to be exact precise bottom you just need to get in on a good entry and try to ride it so that's my video guys I hopefully you guys enjoyed that video if you have enjoyed it guys make sure you smash that like button subscribe to my channel to end the video guys my question to you guys is what is your thoughts on bitcoin do you think bitcoin can be huge do you think what do you think about my strategy of you know buying and holding some because you know trading it might go up you might get stopped up before it runs up a lot can happen exchanges can go down so that's what my thoughts on trading and investing are so thank you very much i just want to quickly review the thoughts uh, on on this video so again I, this is a bit more planned uh, my videos got lots of good content but i don't my presentation and uh, of the content it probably could be a bit be better but the content of it guys inflation the way the dollar is the currencies are being printed they could be you no know, i would want to be i wouldn't want to just be holding my currency whether it's dollar or pound and the value of dollar as you can see is going down uh, institutional money is gaining into bitcoin i've talked about Wall Street looking into getting into Bitcoin and also there could be Bitcoin taking off exchanges which means the supply is reduced which could mean if there's a lot of demand there could be a spike up so just buy one dollar worth of Bitcoin hundred dollar worth of Bitcoin and get some exposure and if you're interested in taking your trading to the next level learning how to trade with you know entry stop losses exactly how I trade uh, check out our group if not guys just smash that like button subscribe to my channel and comment below your thoughts on Bitcoin so thank you very much smash that like button subscribe to my my channel and i'll see you guys soon with another great video go bitcoin